This minister don't fray that one. My uncle is an Obia man. The Honorable Minister of uh, National Security said that last year while warning criminals that he would be relentless in pursuing them. But speaking to the House of Representatives yesterday, he says the comment was meant as a joke, but he noted that many persons were not at news. And I quote, they were offended and rightly so. I want to apologize for the remark of the offensiveness it has caused and to give the assurance and publicly state that I am not into devil or evil worship in no way, shape or form. He further reported, which is a little scary, that over the past couple of months, the police have discovered a most disturbing trend, he says. Altars to facilitate devil worship in many places where raids have been conducted. He says this is most dangerous trend and the clergy is also disturbed by it. Again, I quote, the savagery, the brutality and horrific nature of some crimes point to sacrifices to these evil forces. Hmm. Wow. Wow. He also mentioned about the juveniles figuring prominently across Jamaica, either as perpetrators or victims of crimes. He says last year, 78 teenagers were arrested for shooting, 148 for illegal possession of firearms, and 63 for robbery with aggravation. Teenagers. I just read yesterday that a 15-year-old in the United States went into a school, 15 years old, and killed and killed two 15-year-olds. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, I will talk about that later on in, in the hot topics, but this that's, is great news. Yeah, it? this is great news, but that's very alarming. Um, the figures are very alarming. 78 teenagers last year, but um, you know, let's pick up this beautiful woman, Jamaican named valedictorian at a UK university. Her name is Kamisha Kelly, and she graduated recently as valedictorian of her class. The university's University of York in the UK. Look at her right there, center stage. She's in the middle. Um, so she traveled to York University from Jamaica, and she pr was pursuing, and she pursued her MA degree in social policy. She's one of the few students from Jamaica or anywhere in the Caribbean region to attend York. She's a Chevening scholar. To, and she totally immersed herself in the life of York, noting that the diversity of her classmates enriched her learning experiences by providing perspectives and examples from their home nations. Also, she has been charged uh, with her team to go out and make a difference in the world. And she says, we didn't just get a degree from the University of York, but we've been sent to change the world. In speaking of her experience at York, she took to Twitter. She's always on Twitter, on Facebook, to share her story. She said her parents are proud, her brother is excited, her partner is supportive, present and proud. My girlfriends are happy and stayed with me through the journey, including proofreading her dissertation. Everything else is a bonus, she says, and I am grateful for all of it. And we are grateful to you, for you as well, Kamisha, and we're looking for great things. Social yeah. policy. We have a video um, to show you. Yeah, let's watch that. Sorry guys, I'm pressing play. What's wrong with me? There we go. Thank you very much. I guess that was social policy. <laughs> Good morning. It is a tremendous honor to share with you all as we commemorate the end of our academic and personal development journeys at the University of York. Undoubtedly, in this moment, we are all proud of ourselves and our families and friends are also well pleased. I'm from a small island in the Caribbean called Jamaica. Many of you may have never been there, but you may have heard of Bob Marley and Usain Bolt. It, is, it was important for me that even though I was from this small place and there weren't many people from my region at the University of York, York saw me. Yes, York saw me. There you go, fantastic. Um student and congratulations again i said earlier two students aged 15 killed by a 15 year old this is in marshall county or at the marshall county high school um the kentucky state police said they arrested the 15 year old male shooter because he ran out of bullets and started to run and they were able to um, stop him they said at least two students have died 19 others were injured oh and the shooting started just before 8 o'clock. They say he walked in armed with a handgun. Um, unfortunately, again, we lost a couple youngsters, which is just kind of ridiculous.
That's, you know what, the, the, the t most terrible part about that is the mother of the shooter who was asking another mother if anybody has seen her child. And while the other mother of an evacuated child was texting her son to say, have you seen John Brown? He responded, he's a shooter. Yep. And the mother, can you imagine, imagine the shock that the mother went into to know that was her child? Um, boy, the pain and tears of some of our mothers. Yep. You know, it's, it's not a part of our hot topics, but uh, mm -hmm. Empress earlier mentioned Usain Bolt. Well, at the Usain Bolt Stadium at the University of the West Indies, Zarnell Hughes, who ran for Kingston College at Champs, not a Jamaican, but trained at ra races, was held up at gunpoint at the track. While he went to train, um, someone walked up to him, pointed the gun in his face, asked for his phone. He ran and he was shot at. And apparently there was a, um, a licensed firearm holder there and he also fired a shot. And apparently no one got hurt, but thank goodness Arnold Hughes is okay. He's from one of the Caribbean islands. I don't want to call a name because I'm trying to not remember. The, not the G. Um, not. I can't remember, but he's from one of the Caribbean islands, but he, he performed and, and ran at Champs for Kingston College. And this is while he was at training at the track at, at, the, university, at the University of the West Indies. He, that's where the Usain Bolt Stadium is and went there to train and uh, almost got killed over a phone. You know, Incredible. Uh, we move on. Let's go to something oof. nice and give you some birthday Please. greetings here. Um, happy birthday to my very good friend. It was yesterday, uh, Stacy Ann Young Fraser. I hope you had a great day. Obviously, I wasn't here yesterday. I didn't tell you happy birthday, but uh, I hope you had a brilliant day yesterday, and I wish you so, so many, many more. My, my friend, Stacy? Uh, no, okay. not your friend, Stacy. <laughs> happy birthday to Rayan Bell. Must be a great person with a name like Bell. Rayan is going from your son, Malik, your sisters, Georgette and Jackie, and your brothers, Duran and Prince. I want to say good morning to a couple of police officers, one of my colleagues, Satania, who works here. Apparently she was stopped very early in the morning by a couple of police officers. I'm not certain, she says my clocking and partner, but she really wanted to say that you guys were so professional, you were so nice to her, and she uh, thanks, thank you so much. But, and again, difficult to be on the road at that time in the, in the morning. Um, this is Shoshana Fisher. Let me see if I got the name right. Shoshana Fisher, happy birthday. Birthday is coming from your mom, your sister. It's also coming from Naika. There you go, Shoshana. I'm going to move quickly, so I'm going to... Yeah, because I have another one to show you. Uh, da, 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 I'm done. Where is it? And this one is... This is Raven. I hope I got it right. This is Raven Lynn. She's 16 years old. She goes to San Andrew High. Greetings coming from your mom, Marlene, your sister. Sister Randy Gay and your granddad. What else? Um, I have another one. Don't move. Don't move, folks. Where is it? I come in. No man, we have to wait 30. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Nakia Davis. Nakia, today is your birthday. I'm sure you know that. I hope you have a, a great day. It's coming from Coach Burton at Austin High and everyone here. And good morning also to Joni. At, uh, Joni works at the Discount Pharmacy at uh, Manor Park. And um, apparently she watches the program every morning, so I suspect you're watching this morning, Joni. I have one more um, um, unique, and I don't, one single one. Another Who is unique? Tell the people. <laughs> unique, my producer, before she, she much me up. This no, is my very good friend. No, people say you're talking to, to your imaginary <laughs> friend. No, this is my good, very good friend. Uh, they call her Jin. I think it's Gan is her name, but they call her Jin. Beautiful. I hope you had a great day, and I wish you many, many more. And. Happy second anniversary to Sandra and Chef George Matthews. Um, I have a brilliant day today. And Richard just sent me one, so I have to do that. <laughs> Are you finished, All right, sir? So do it in the next segment. You and I'll do more? that in the next segment. You have more? No. Okay. <laughs> I just want to say, wait, 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 wait. Don't you dare cut. Don't you dare cut. Pull down that music. We got to say one more thing. The king of the birthdays did it. But now it's time for us to say happy birthday to our children in state care, to all our children born today. If you feel nobody loves you and you don't love your life, do know that you are here for our purpose. Walk on your journey and walk in purpose and do know that you are born for a reason. God does not make junk and we love you. Happy birthday from me, Auntie Empress and... Uncle Neville, have a great day, folks. Happy birthday.